Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I take my shower on the road. This is not something you really see in my Overland Adventures video, but this is something we take very seriously here at ANSM Overland. So please stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this is a pretty simple, pretty basic system. So every one of you guys can build the same. In fact, I'm pretty sure that everything that's inside this little pocket can be found on Amazon. I'm gonna put a few links down below in the description to make your research a bit easier. So as I said, everything fits in this bag and I'm gonna show you what's inside. This bag actually comes with the shower cabin. So, for you, my European guys, you may have recognized the Keshura from Decathlon. It's a sport uh, goods shop, a um, pretty good one here in Europe. But you also can find um, whole kinds of uh, shower cabin on Amazon. I chose this one because it's a very good quality and I also liked the color. So the bag is pretty handy. Got a nice zipper. And then inside I have four of this foam square here. The shower cabin comes with um, a floor, but it's just a, a sheet of plastic. So um, we decided with Lizan to get something a little bit more comfy for our little feet, you know. Um, so this is nice foam. We have four of them. We could fit six inside the shower cabin, but four is, is enough. So we just have to set up them like this. And we have a very nice floor into our shower cabin. Okay, and then we have our uh, portable shower knob. This one is pretty nice because you have your shower knob and the pump on the other side. And the pump is actually working with its own battery. So you don't have to plug it on the car. We had uh, a previous shower knob uh, with a 12 volt lighter plug. And the problem was that, well, you had to plug it in the car and this extra wire going from the car to the shower cabin was pretty annoying. We didn't like it. And um, also the fact that this cable wasn't that long, so we couldn't Put the shower really far away from the car and sometimes you use a lot of water and it like it goes all over the place all over the floor and it's really not convenient if it's around the car so most of the time we set up the shower at least five meter uh, away from the car but this one is pretty good um, you have a little valve here to shut down the, um, the flow this one was a bit more expensive than the previous one with the wire, but it's definitely worth it. And um, the battery lasts very, very long between two charge. Actually, in three months, I just charged it once and it works great. I'm very happy with that. And then we have two foldable buckets. So we have two sides here. We have a 25 liter and a 20 liter one. So that's the, the floor that comes with the shower cabin. We never use it. Um, I'm probably gonna throw it away because it's not very convenient. We also put our soap inside this little bag. So it's always here. We never forget about it. Well, it's just basic soap. Uh, we always try to get uh, all natural, eco-friendly soap, you know, it's always better, take care of the environment. 
And then inside this little pocket that comes with the shower cabin, you have four 10 pegs. And then obviously the shower cabin itself. And now I'm just gonna set up the shower just, just like every day on the road to show you how it works. Okay, and here comes the funny and tricky part because it's the kind of tent that falls out by itself. And when it's done, you just have to secure the shower cabin with the tent pegs on every corner. And this is something I don't like about this setup because if you are on a hard ground with a lot of rocks or even a parking lot, you won't be able to, to stick those tent pegs on the ground and the shower cabin won't stand by itself. And that's our shower cabin. It's really good, first of all, for privacy, but if that was just for myself, I wouldn't consider it just for privacy. I, I don't really care, but it was a very good point for Lisa, my girlfriend. But another thing where this comes very handy, it's if it's windy, because when you're out there naked, taking your shower, the wind can be deadly. So. This will protect you from the wind. And actually, on the inside, it will act like a little sauna. And well, obviously if you have hot water, you put your bucket of hot water in there and you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> you're gonna spend a nice moment because all the warmth is gonna stay inside. So now, after pu putting together uh, the shower cabin, can open the front door and I'm gonna put the floor. So I've got my four piece of foam here. I'm just gonna throw them in there. It's gonna look like this. As I said, I could fit six of them, but four is way enough. And then I usually prepare the shower knob on this side here and the soap in this pocket just right there and then I'm gonna use these two buckets so most of the times we try to find a calm spot with a water source just like a river or a lake and we use this water you can also if you have some water container in your vehicle a jerry can or something else uh, you can obviously use it but in the forester, I can't really carry a tons of water, so it's better to find it directly on the comp spot. So most of the time, I'm gonna use the bigger one to get the water from the source and then make it boil or just make it warm with the fire maple stove. Just make a review of it last week. You can check it out right now, just right here. And then when it's hot, I'm gonna just put it on the smaller bucket and I'm doing this in this particular order because in the small bucket, the water level is gonna be higher and that's better for the water pump. And then I just have to throw the pump in there. Push the power button here. And then, the water. So you can shut it off with the steel knob here. And then turn it on once again. You have a um, a little button here with the M, it's a mod, so if you push it, 
the flow is gonna be even more stronger. And something I really like with this shower knob and uh, inbuilt battery that you can take it with you to the river, to the lake, put it in there and make it work everywhere. Okay, so that's it for my shower setup. As I said, and as you saw in this video, it's very simple, it's very basic and cheap equipment, but it really makes the difference uh, when you have to take a nice shower on the road. The only big cons is if you want a lot, a lot of hot water, because it's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna be very gas consuming. But I'm working on a water heater system. I'm not gonna tell you more about this because you're gonna find that in another video later on this year. So I really hope this video is gonna help you to improve your shower system because it's actually really important to take care of your body even if you're out there uh, on a road trip or an overland adventure. And don't forget to check the description to check out all the gear I used in this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also check my Instagram account, my Facebook page and my merch store. Thank you guys for watching and see you next week.